제가 직접 한번 해보겠습니다. 잡았네. Nice. Skydiving from a biplane is anything but straightforward. The fastest and simplest way is for the pilot to invert the plane, flip it upside down, and drop me out. It might be stomach churning, but it's an effective deployment. This is a first for me, but if I catch the tail on exit, it's game over. On the ground, the Chihuahua Desert is brutally hot and bone dry. Most areas get less than one inch of rain a month. Out here, staying hydrated is going to be your biggest challenge. Bones everywhere. That's an old coyote. And she might be worth taking a couple of these with me. I'll try and head for the high ground up there. And then get our bearings. Get a bit of the lie of the land around here. Getting to higher ground will give you an understanding of the landscape and show what you're up against. You see on the horizon there, those are the Sierra Rica Mountains. And just short of that is the Rio Grande. But you know, between here and there is just terrain that says, take me on if you dare. In this environment, covering miles is punishing. But with the right mindset, it's possible to get over it quickly and easily. Parkour is a technique adopted by the French military. You need speed, balance and momentum. Shifting the weight of your body and taking the most direct route. As if the desert wasn't harsh enough, just beneath the surface lies a lethal reminder of when all this was ranch land. Look, you see these stones just in a circle like this? That's a very very unnatural shape, which means more than likely this is a hunter's trap of some sort. Actually, let, let's see if I'm just trigger this. What happens, animal will come along and tread in the middle of this. Oh, a nasty. Big trap as well. The trap is tethered to a length of rope. Finding something like this could be a real lifesaver. Good find. Fine water, you must head down following the canyons. Let's try up here. That's never easy, is it? I've got an idea. And what I have got is this rope and this old trap. You know, splicing like this, or naval technique. And the reason it's good is it's not any stronger than knots, it also uses that. Let's see if we get this thing across. But... <laughs> Throwing a rope across a 30-foot canyon is never easy. <laughs> the danger here is throwing yourself over the edge along with the rope. So make sure you've got a strong footing and keep your feet clear of the coils. Bullseye. Bullseye. Feels like it's caught. And that's probably as good as I'm going to get. The Tyrolean Traverse is a method used by climbers and mountain troops to get from one high point to another. A 
ropes holding so far. Button. Cause you are my girl. I want to get off this rope and fast. Who got him to do it? Oh, Inzong, what's going on? Try and get this rope back. Okay, should be able to just pull a string, and that bone should pop out. And this rope then should be free. Good job. Plan the route down from here. Looks much more straightforward, actually. my life picking runny things out of my leg. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. That's a rattlesnake. Just follow me, follow me. Straight under that rock there. Yeah, but these guys, really, they can be real killers if you stumble across these without knowing. OK. He should be quite happy with that and just stay there for a few minutes. Okay, come with me. I know exactly what we need for this. As soon as he comes out, he is going to be pissed, all right? So light on your feet and just watch what I'm doing. Let's get the rucksack out of the way first. That sound tells me the rattler's still in there. It also says that it's ready to defend itself. But his best defense is to stay in the crevice. When you start putting your hand into it, you're just gonna get bit. Okay, look, here we go. Oh. Even with the stick, I've got to remain focused on where I'm standing. You can't take your eyes off these snakes for a moment. They can strike up to two thirds of their own body length. Pinning it down immobilizes a snake just enough for me to risk getting in close. Okay. And the only way to be really sure to have his head off. It doesn't matter how many times you deal with snakes, you wouldn't be human if your heart wasn't racing. And you're dealing with one that's as lethal as this. It's good practice to bury the head of a venomous snake before you leave. I'm deep in the heart of the Chihuahuan Desert, Western Texas, and I've reached an arroyo. Yeah, look at this. A slash of green vegetation fed from spring water emerging straight out of the volcanic rock. First thing I'm going to do is just have a thumb. Tap button. Oh. That is heaven. All of this is just volcanic spring water, which means it's drinkable. Pretty imposing place, eh? 가슴이 웅장해진다. Look, there's a whole cave up here. Check this out. This sort of place is going to be perfect. The only place I'm vulnerable from is the front. Actually, it might be worth trying to trying to build some sort of defence here. Now this stuff is going to act as a kick barricade. Look at it, it's called Devil's Walking Stick. See the spines along that? It's gonna go straight through your fingers. But if you look down the bottom of it, there are no spines down here, which means I can make my defense out of loads of these. Okay. I'm gonna collect a few of these to place across the cave entrance. Okay, that will do for this bit. Now, if I make a fire in this corner, that's gonna protect me here as well. My plan is to make a fire using a method that's been around for as long as man has been making fire, the hand drill. No matches, no flints, just two bits of wood. Hopefully it'll work first time. When you're spinning the spindle. The key with this is not tiring yourself out too quickly. Slowly build up that heat. Yeah! Come on! So what you want to do is tip it like this so it stays as one ember. 
This old bird's nest makes perfect tinder. And then protect it. A good feeling. My fire going, I can skin this snake and get it cooked. Take the rattle off, give that as a present to my little boy. And then the meat of this, I'm just roast on. A bit of this devil's walking stick. Good thing about this, because of all the spikes. It's going to grip to it really nicely. And then the green wood won't burn. The snake will cook that supper. Sharp or out to kill you. Okay. And people often say that. Snakes taste like chicken. But you know what? They just don't. It's more like flame grilled sinewy bone and skin. Yeah, but I do need a pee. So I'm gonna try and aim it through the devil's walking stick. See that? The Rio Grande. 말입니다. And the border with Mexico. And the border control guys are going to be all over this. You know, they have cameras and unmanned balloons, patrols going up and down the river. If you reach that, you're going to get found. This is going to be just heaven. the sound of a sheriff's patrol car, which means my way out of here. This desert has sucked me in, chewed me up and spat me out. And if I've learned one thing, it's this. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> <laughs>